Welcome back and thanks so much for staying with Sunrise Live on E. Now, DDT is one of the most well-known pesticides to control mosquitoes from spreading malaria and lice-transmitting typhus. Scientific fears about DDT's effects on the health of humans and animals resulted in the banning of the pesticide in most countries. South Africa is one of only few countries still using it as a tool to halt the southward spread of malaria from Mozambique. However, more and more medical researchers are urging the government to phase out the use of DDT. Tell us more. We're now joined by Professor Heinz Malhorn, world leading expert on parasites from the Uver University of Dusseldorf in Germany. Thanks so much uh, for joining us uh, yeah. this morning. D just looking at the, the chemical composition of, of yeah. DDT, what is it? Uh, this uh, chemical composition was banned. It was found in one of excellent uh, insecticide. Uh, it kills. Um, um, any, any type of insects, but it was found that it may enter the food chain because it went inside of the, uh, of the food animals like pigs, like fish and all the things, and also finally enters the, in, into the, the liver of humans and may, uh, may, can, may introduce cancer and those things. So in the world it was banned already in the 80s and in South Africa around in the beginning of the 90s because we saw that this is not good in case a product is uh, storing in a liver of inside of humans because there may be damages. Because on the other side, there had been developed other insecticides and other me measurements to control malaria. Mm -hmm. And in case you have a whole bunch today, uh, how you can control malaria. For example, there is uh, to, to kill the larvae, you, you can take the so-called Bacillus thuringiensis, which is a crystalline thing, you spray into the waters and the larvae are eating and then they explode. So you kill the larvae. The other thing is uh, you have to care very early the population against malaria area in case there was one, then people can sleep under impregnated bed nets. So it's much better than to use this DDT, which will be stored everywhere for many, many years in the whole population and uh, with all these things of making sickness. But Professor, my, my question is that already in the 1940s yeah. in the yeah. US there were concerns yeah. raised about yeah. the effects on humans of yeah. DDT and then uh, around the 50s yeah. or so tighter yeah. regulation was then introduced. Yeah. We also banned it, as you mentioned, in the early 90s and then resurfaced yeah. in 2000 with the uh, uh, malaria it, epidemic. It came from, so, from so the north, it, yes. it's, it's currently being used, are yeah. you saying, as yeah. a pesticide yes. in the country? Uh, as I heard, it's currently used and it's also used in some uh, other rainforest car, uh, um, countries of Africa. But in any way, I, I uh, have the same opinion as uh, many of these researchers here, that it should be banned at, at to total one. Because we have other, one, other insecticides which are not uh, so uh, aggressive like this one. Uh, it's good, it's of, it's of a course good, and surely in case you have a very local place where you have an outbreak, uh, then you can use it once and then to, to kill a lot of those uh, uh, mosquitoes. But, but when, you, when you use it really regularly, you will introduce it again into the food chain. But, but uh, is it being routinely used? So are you saying as, as, as primarily being kept as and when an and epidemic spreads and then uh, it, it so will be in, in, so, in, in those countries, in, in the rainforest, I know, they use it regularly in, in certain regions where it's uh, so, so I don't I don't know how it is the, the, the actually in done in South Africa, but in any case, it should be avoid the contact of bodies. For example, against head lice, it would be completely uh, forbidden to use some because this would enter the skin and also enter the, the mouth. And so, uh, uh, for the malaria outside killing uh, adult mosquitoes, it would be. At very local places, okay, but I, as I said, we have better ones uh, to, to, to make routinely, as we do in Germany, for example, in the, all the springtime, we kill by helicopter, we spray these Bacillus thuringiensis on the waters, mm -hmm. very close by the, the dwellings, and then the larvae, so that we have even no, no adult mosquitoes which transmit the malaria. All right, let's, so talk about, yeah. let's talk about the impact on, 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 on humans yeah. if you consume yeah. uh, contaminated food. Yeah. So it, it was uh, said that they are, the, for example, especially the pregnant, the, the young baby, the fetus in the, in, the, in the woman, they may be affected, they may harm. Uh, and so because the problem is you never see with such, with, with such products uh, a very short uh, reaction. You always see that on the length, mm -hmm. like with uh, skin cancer. You get today much sun 
and only 20 years later you have the cancer. The same is here with those uh, products which are uh, mounted in, within the body. Yeah, because there's also alarming reports that it yeah. affects the reproductive system and particularly yeah. amongst young girls yes. and their ability yeah. to bear children. And because, uh, you know, the, our liver is made for, from, from God uh, to, to take out uh, poisonous things of our food. And in case those things are co uh, concentrated in our liver, it will not function at a certain time. And so it's very dangerous uh, to, uh, to use things which may accumulate in the food because then you get it from the, your apple, from your, your um, piglet or your chicken, you will add, uh, or from your fish, you will have an addition of this product in your liver. Now, now looking at your counterparts yeah. in their country and the cap capacity yeah. around there, and um, I suppose the level of monitoring when yeah. it comes to yeah. any threat of an, an epidemic, there yeah. isn't really much, is there? I mean, I'm of the sense that there has, uh, there, there's large control in terms yeah. of uh, the migration of mosquitoes, yeah. particularly yeah. From, from Mozambique. So the, the, the thing is, I, I, I think, and, and I, your, your, your government knows it, that there are a bunch of possibilities in case people are migrating from the north to the south, to your country, you have to control them whether they have malaria, to treat them immediately. Because malaria is a special disease of humans, so there are no animals. So in case you have treated people as soon as possible, so you, you take them out from the, from the mosquitoes that the mosquitoes can uh, mm. become infected on those people. So there are several uh, measurements will help uh, to, to get control on it. Yes, yeah. and also the, the, the awareness, particularly yeah. for, for our travelers, yeah. um, the world has become a very small yeah. place. And yeah. we know that South Africans yes. as well migrate yeah. Yeah. Uh, all the time. Uh, what, what, what kind of information you need to seek in any country that you're going to getting their yeah. health regulations so for example in, in in our country we have a, a travel uh, information so we have for any country every year our society the tropical medicine uh, society we give a, a bullet bulletin and we say when you go to mozambique you have to to make a protection against malaria against other diseases because for for many of those things you have a protection then furthermore you can personally protect uh, with a spray a repellent on your skin when when you use it in the evening when you're sitting outside no mosquito will bite you no bite means no transmission so there are many many possibilities and the traveler should always ask the health authorities when your businessmen are going north in in, in the rainforest region they should be protected otherwise they will bring it here in the time of globalization and here the mosquitoes don't know that they're not allowed to bite them. Yeah, <laughs> okay. With DDT now being such a, uh, a controversial chemical yeah. and, and the, the most of the world having banned yeah. it and those countries that are still using it, surely the, health, uh, the World Health Organization and other yeah. uh, fora w would then implement some form of regulation in terms of its use. Yes, the, the, the WHO uh, uh, also recommends to stop it. And, and also many other countries, they say, we, we have banned it, better leave it. We use other possibilities. As I said, there's a big bunch which can be, can be used, with, but however, this must be installed regularly because an epidemic may always come again. In case your, your malaria, big malaria epidemic uh, mm. in 2000 came and said it was stopped because you have a good health system, you treated them, and, and all uh, all patients treated are no more uh, cannot more give the parasite to to the mosquitoes. Yeah. Are you saying that the symptoms are detected when it's pretty much too late? Uh, in 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 case of the transmission uh, uh, for the treatment, it's I, I think probably m m not not too late. In any case, when the symptoms come. We have very good treatments, uh, actually, so we can treat them. But for the for the uh, uh, for the uh, transmission, so this person will be for several weeks uh, contain uh, uh, sexual stages of the malaria, which can be transmitted uh, to others. And so that's that's a problem. That uh, uh, as early as the treatment is done. Uh, uh, the shorter is the time that uh, the vector of the mosquito can transmit uh, the parasite. All right, Professor yeah. Malhorn, thanks so much for coming okay. through this morning. Have you done it? And thanks again. We're speaking to Professor Heinz Malhorn, visiting professor and world leading expert on parasites. He's from the University of Dusseldorf in Germany. For more information, you can go to Oct Farm. Uh, that's octfarm.co.za. You can simply call them on 011 469 1642. As a vigilant consumer, if you're concerned uh, that some of the food products could be contaminated. More information can be sought there. Now, though, we take a quick ad break. We'll see you at 7 with the latest news.